Hello super friends and welcome to DC TV Talk and in today's episode we are going to be discussing the new photos released for Arrow Season 7 and also discussing something interesting that Beth Schwartz revealed inside a recent article regarding Arrow Season 7. So let's discuss. Now, as you'll notice, this is a slightly different format to what I normally do here on DC TV Talk. I'm trying something a little bit different with a bit of face cam, see how it goes. Let me know if you guys like it in the comments down below. So we got a few new images from Entertainment Weekly, which I went over a couple of videos ago. But in today's video, I want to focus on these new photos that we got from IGN, which showcase some new photos for Arrow Season 7. And they all focus on Oliver inside of prison. So let's just take a look at those. So the first one I want to focus on here is the one with Oliver and it also shows him in front of three returning villains who are going to be terrorizing Oliver inside of prison being Bronze Tiger, Stardust and Brick. So they are all going to be returning all three of these villains. We saw all three of these villains in the season seven Comic Con trailer and now we get to see them here about to terrorize Oliver which is quite interesting. Now if you do see me looking down I am looking at my phone at these images uh, while I talk to them, uh, talk to you about them. So. As you can see, these images, they are very interesting because you actually get to see the fact that, you know, in prison, Oliver is going to be facing criminals who he put away in the past, and they now know he's the Green Arrow, which is very interesting, or even the Arrow, because obviously now Star City know that the Arrow, the Hood, and the Green Arrow, they were all the same person, because, you know, he cleared, he cleared Roy's Har Roy, Roy Harper's name. So with that, you can see these with Stardust and also uh, Bronze Tiger and also Danny Brickwell. And it's just really exciting to see these villains return. I really like that photo. I think it's really interesting just to see this dynamic and whether that dynamic will change and evolve the longer Oliver is in prison. We also have this photo where we get to see Oliver with a new, what appears to be an ally that he's going to have in prison. I was wondering if they were going to give Oliver any friends while he's in prison, because obviously as soon as he arrived at Slapside at the end of season six, everyone pretty much hated him and everyone was trying to kill him. So you can see here, he actually has got a friend, which is quite interesting. I don't know who this character is. I don't know what his actor's name is. I don't know anything about this character. But I think it is quite interesting to see that this character is going to be a ally of Oliver of some sort and someone who he's going to be able to talk to, relate with, and have a friend. Kind of like Barry in season four of The Flash when he was in prison and he met Goldberg, who was his dad's friend, and he related to him. I feel like it's going to be that character for Oliver. And this next photo, you can see Oliver actually getting into some conflict with Bronze Tiger and also Stardust. They're getting into an actual bit of a physical fight. And this is really cool. This is what I want to see. Like, I've said this many times on DC TV Talk. I really want to see Oliver just get into really brutal prison fights and especially if he's going to get into brutal prison fights with the villains we've already seen in the past that gets a big thumbs up from me and you can see here with these photos that he is going to be honestly just destroying these guys and just the way that he's pretty much being ambushed especially because bronze tiger was a really cool villain and stardust was a bit underused so it'd be cool to see these guys come back and actually get you know a bit of a bit more action and a bit more fight scenes to do with Oliver now that obviously he's not going to be the Green Arrow, it's literally Oliver Queen fighting these guys. I think that's really interesting and again, really awesome to see. Just something I really want to see as a fan personally. And in this final photo, we can see Oliver having dinner with this new ally who he's going to have and we see him being approached by both Stardust and Brickwell and you can see that they are going to be interrogating him. They're probably also going to target this new ally of Oliver because obviously Oliver will want to protect this guy. He'll want to look after him given the fact that he is actually being a friend to him. So he's pretty much the only friend he's going to have in prison. So he's going to want to make sure he looks after him, protect him. So these new villains could also be going after this guy in order to get to Oliver. So that'd be quite cool as well because again, it's nice to see Oliver actually getting a friend and a companion to actually just have in prison alongside his life because again you kind of need someone to talk to at least you know so it'd be nice to see that and it seems like these villains are going to be attacking him as well so that was all the images we got from IGN from Arrow Season 7 in their little exclusive they got to do. But now I want to move over to some other news which we got, which re is regarding a recent interview where we got to hear an executive producer from Arrow talking about the show and something that we could be seeing. And it turns out, not only are we getting Bronze Tiger, Brick, and also Stardust, but we we're also getting another new villain coming to the show and returning in prison uh, to match up with Oliver in Season 7. So who could this villain be, might you ask? Well, I don't really know who that villain is going to be, but I have got some choices. First of all, I think the Clock King is quite a big one. I know Pagey mentioned the Clock King in his video as well, but if you remember back to a video I made a while ago where I was discussing which villains could possibly show up in prison with Oliver, I did say the Clock King was a very likely one. And I think if they wanted to include the Clock King, it would be an interesting addition because if Oliver is going to break out of prison, which I feel is likely, then he could need someone like the Clock King to almost be his Felicity, you know, someone who is, you know, 
full of the timings and actually can get you and execute these plans perfectly, he's going to need that kind of character. And I feel like the Clock King would able to be will be able to fill that shoe, you know. So again, he'd be like his Felicity, which would be a nice little addition, a nice little dynamic. Especially because Clock King, I mean, he was an, he was on Arrow. He was in season one, I believe, maybe in season two. Uh, but he was also on the Flash as well. So he's kind of like you know a multi Arrowverse villain. So it'd be nice to see him interacting with Oliver and potentially helping him break out of prison if that's the case. I would also like to chuck in China White as another addition. I mentioned her a while back as well. I think it would just be cool to see China White because, again, she was like a really like old-school, classic Arrow villain from the early seasons. I mean, she did show up in Season 5, but, you know, only really for one episode. I think it would be cool to actually go back to China White. I'd like to see her, what she can do, and what sort of things she'd be able to interact with with Oliver when he's in prison. Once again, knowing who this Hood guy is, who she was dealing with for all these years. So it would be really nice, again, to have the history of the triad go up against Oliver that'd be really sick so I'd like to see her maybe make a return in prison as well now I have heard a theory that I think just needs to happen which is that another option who could be returning in these prison scenes is Adrian Chase now we need more Adrian Chase on this show he is in my opinion the best villain in the history of Arrow probably in the Arrowverse I mean I know Slade was great I know Eobard Thorne was great but I loved Prometheus, and I really think we need more of him. And when he showed up in season six, it was just phenomenal. And that is easily one of the best episodes of season six. And it's just phenomenal to see Josh Zagara come back to this show. And I was really sad when they killed him off, because although I knew they kind of needed to kill him off, I was really sad that they did, because again, he's just such an entertaining villain, and his chemistry with Stephen Amell is very defined. So I'd love to see any excuse to bring back Josh Zagara just for an episode, I will take it. Like I said, I'm not really a big fan of like the Vertigo storylines that they do on Arrow, but last season it was the excuse they needed to bring back Josh Zagara for an episode. So if we need a random excuse for a hallucination while Oliver's in prison to bring back Josh Zagara, just do it, just go for it. But what do you guys think about these photos? Make sure you tell me all your thoughts about them in the comment section down below. Do they get you hyped for season seven? I know they make me hyped for season seven even more than I already am. And also, who do you think this final mysterious villain could be? Who is going to be showing up in Slab Side with Oliver, Bronze Tiger, Stardust, and Brick? Make sure you let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. It'll help me out a lot. And share this video with anyone and everyone you know who loves DC TV and get them to join the community. And as always, guys, please subscribe for your latest content on Supergirl, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, and Black Lightning. And with all that said, guys, I hope to see you again in my next video.